We have 33 cars on the raceway, 25 laps are ahead of them, and at the end there will be one champion of the world. Skegness Stadium very, very proudly presents the 2012 Brisker Formula One Stock Car Championship of the World. We have a green flag, it's lift of time here at Skegness Stadium. Oh, and a huge moment says Johan Pasberg goes right over the top there. Paul Harrison in the wall down there. As is Tom Harrison, 84, all in down there on that first turn. And as we come back around, it's going to be 1-5-0. Big Sorda who leads the way. More chaos there off the turn. It's H247 Castell in the front of a whole pile of cars. And 22 Farmer Shun has gone piling in there as well. So what a chaos uh, greets the start of this race. And it's wave yellows on the raceway, Madam Sala. We have wave yellows on the raceway. So wave yellows are out on circuit. Uh, and it's a huge, huge start to this Skegstefs Stadium uh, World Final. And it is going to be a complete restart. We have a complete restart and a red flag on the World Championship. For the second time, we have a green. And Wayman just backing them up there right at the start. And once again, they have all gone for it down there into that first turn. Paul Harrison has gone down there. Craig Finnegan has gone. Two of the Reds and Nick Sauter, they're all in there. It's Wayman who leads them through. 28-22, Luke Walsh in second place. Oh, they're still going for it down there. Gilman gets by one, and we've got one over. It's Wave Yellows on the raceway, Madam Starla. Wave Yellows on the raceway. So the Wave Yellows out to all circuit once again. And we get set the cars into single file. It's a Wave Yellow situation on the second start at the Formula One Stock Car Championship of the World. once more in the world final. Back under green flag conditions, away we go once again with the Formula 1 Stock Hunt Championship of the World. Dan Johnson takes in 84 Tom Harris and it's 21 Mark Gilbank who comes through to the front. So 21 Gilbank it is now leading them through. 217 Lee Ferris has come through in the second. The wave yellows uh, are out on circuit. So the wave uh, yellows uh, are out there on the raceway. Oh, 
So uh, astonishing uh, scenes uh, out there at uh, Skegness Stadium uh, as uh, we come under a further caution in the Formula One Stock Car Championship of the World. Away we go once again with the green flag back out there. And Dan Johnson pushing his way back through to the front once again. He gets uh, wide on the inside of Lee Ferris there, so uh, pushing him out the way. And it's Gilbank who still leads. Daniel Johnson is second, Lee Ferris is third, Wayman is fourth in 515. Huntley next in 484. Sorder is a lap down from his early skirmishes. So the next one out there on the lead lap is Ron Crocker at H217. 21 it is then leading them through. Mark Gilbank leads the world final for 2012. Andy McCabe in New Zealand, 31 coming through. It's halfway next time, Adam Starter. We are halfway. Out of the running then for New Zealand, 31. McCabe drops out on the back straight and it's now Gilbank with Johnson right behind him. Oh, Johnson there, goes in with the bumper. Mark Gilbank takes wide, he drops the third place. It's Dan Johnson who leads. Oh, Gilbank back in with the bumper, fires wide, both Ferrers. And the number four, Dan Johnson, but it's still there in the lead. And here comes Ferrers again. Fires wide, Daniel Johnson, Lee Ferrers, back to front, Wayne the back to second. And Mark Gilbank trying to find his way back through it all as well now, but Ferrers leads the way. So, Lee Fairhurst, 21 Gilbank has a go at Wayman, it doesn't work out for him. Wayman is now second, Johnson is third. And the scrap for fourth place, well, Craig Lee is there. But away he goes, Lee Fairhurst in 2 one, 7 Sort of firing wide, number 12, Michael Scriver, but he isn't there on the lead lap now. And back through we come with Lee Fairhurst, starting to look rather dominating in this one. Fairhurst leading the way there, and he's stretching away his lead as well now. Johnson uh, starting to look as if uh, the car is handling uh, rather awkwardly now. Wayman uh, is still third, it's a way back to fourth though for Utley. Oh, and more drama around there. Oh, and 21 Gilbank uh, collecting the spinning car down there. Five next time, Madam Starter as Ryan Harrison rejoins from that uh, big shot. So the five lap board being made ready. It's two on set of Lee Ferris with five to run from Daniel Johnson and Wayman. Four and four up is next. Then it's uh, number 12. But back through we come in the closing stages of this race now. 2-1-7, Lee Fairhurst. Could this be one of the most amazing world finals of all time as the driver from the very, very back slot on the grid comes through. Up the back straight he goes for the two-lap ball this time. And if he's checking his mirrors, he will see space behind him. No great threat in the mirrors whatsoever. Second and third also looking fairly safe. With anything, Utley starting to gain on Wayman now for third place in that battle. But the last lap ball goes out there for Lee Fairhurst in 2 on 7 Back down into the final turn we come. The double check and flags are ready. And Madam Starter celebrates as 2 on 7 Lee Fairhurst crosses the line in the World Championship for 2012 as a, a race winner at Skegness Stadium. So Lee Fairhurst, can you believe it? What a sensational race, and that is all of the Madam Starter. Thank you, and red flags, please.